everyone if you've been here before hello and thanks for coming back and for those of you that are new I'm Tash and I'm an artist based in the UK and I love to do daily activities for you guys creative activities arty crafty whatever that you can do at home that will help with your mindfulness and your well-being your wellness all those sorts of things basically just to make you feel better and to switch your brain off from all the daily troubles so let's get going today we're going to do a sketch the theme this week is citrus slices so we're going to do a sketch of something citrusy okay so let's get started on the sketch i'm using my sketchbook that i put all of my sketches and doodle drawings in from our sessions and this time it is so the theme is citrus so i'm going to do a lime um kind of a still life sketch i'll try not to take too much time on it because i know that we're trying to do quick daily activities so we're gonna have like i'm gonna just ease out using small strokes the semblance of a round shape for the line it's going to be about here and then over here cutting into that is going to be a section of the line that's been opened so that's going to be an oval shape because it's kind of on its side and then it'll have a little bit of a back to it okay so we've got our kind of outline now what we're going to do is come and start to build it up so i'm going to build the top out where the stalks will be coming from the top of the line and where all its life force has come from through that stalk and then i'm going to draw a line coming out from the stalk there and again, I'm still just using small strokes because it is a sketch and that's how I like to sketch. But I know everyone's different. If you just want to put one line down and you're done, then you do that. You've got to do what suits you. Um, I always say this when I'm doing these things. We're all different. We all work in different ways. We all develop and learn in different ways. And there is, when it comes to art, I truly believe there is no wrong or right way it's what works for you and always remember that okay so there's a leaf coming down here I am looking at a reference image <laughs> so if you want a reference image a good place to look for is on Pixabay where they have reference images um, and they're royalty free if you just did do some piece of work that you wanted to sell then you wouldn't get into trouble but if you're just using it for your own use in your sketchbook anything on the internet is absolutely fine it only gets troublesome when you decide mm, actually that's quite good I might sell that <laughs> they um, yeah they wouldn't like it so you must try and find royalty free copyright free photographs because at the end of the day our, our photographers are artists too and we don't want to be stealing their work so again I'm just doing rough little lines to kind of create that that feeling of a leaf with some patterns on and we're going to draw here the end like a little circle because it's been chopped off there and I think we'll have one more leaf this side excuse me it went croaky <clears throat> I am still recovering from being poorly with stomach flu and it was really nasty and although I am on the mend I'm still not quite a hundred percent right and I also feel as though like part of my brain just doesn't want to work doesn't want to function properly yet I mean I didn't eat hardly anything for about a week so it's not surprising it's not nice if anyone else has had it you'll know it's not nice um, okay but then you know any kind of illness isn't nice is it Right, I think we're done for the leaves on there. I'm gonna come around now and start to fill in exactly where I want that line to go. Now, in the photo, it's quite a round line. But I might just bring it down a little bit to a little bit of a point, because they're not perfectly round, are they, lines? Not really. They're not as oval as lemons, but, and then it's got a little bottom to it. It's got a little bottom. <laughs> there we go. 
go. Okay, so that's our line there. We don't need to draw that bit because that's going to be hidden now by this bit. So I'm coming in now and I'm putting down my final firm line. Again, don't worry too much. We're just doing this for our sketchbook. We're doing it for fun. We're doing it for enjoyment. Don't worry too much. So now we're just coming in and drawing in these lovely little sections. I'm going to draw a pretend circle in the middle so I know they always kind of come to there. This is a fun bit. And then you can either just leave it as it is with the line work you've done, or you can, of course, shade it in. And you can even, if you wanted to, colour it in. The choice is yours. Just going to round that a bit more. I think we can probably just about get two in. Just, there we go. That's the only problem with doing the slices is trying to map it out as you're going along so that you actually fit in all of the sections that you want to fit in. So we don't need that in a circle anymore. So I'm just going to come around and um, finish off the line shapes. And what you can do is just put some lines down those because they're very streaky aren't they, they show those sections of fruit and just maybe shade in the sections in between if you want to lay your pencil flat will give you an even better um, kind of spread of pencil and this is where it will be darkest underneath. As I say, don't worry too much. We're just doing daily sketches. They don't have to be perfect. Um, they just have to be relaxing and enjoy and, and get some enjoyment out of it. Because everything you do when you're doing these little daily sketches, you're learning skills along the way, you'll make mistakes or you'll do things you don't quite like and you think, right, I won't do that next time. So we're going to kind of create a shadow on the line here and then it's going to be lighter there. So there's hardly any shadow around here. Now you can use um, blending stuff looks like this and you can kind of smudge that around they're very very low cost these blending stumps but they can be quite effective if you're just doing black and white images pencil drawings and you can just kind of smudge it around so that you don't have a sharp edge of shading it's all kind of naturally flowing very dark because it's kind of the bit that's cut off and it's hidden underneath and what we can do is just gently come around any areas we want smudging and use a little bit of the pencil that's there just to kind of gently give it some shade um, up here that's exactly what I'm going to do on the leaves I don't want to do too much with them so I'm just going to go over them and where the pencil is a little bit of it will smudge out stalk is quite dark so we could come in this is actually a 6b if you want the full set of shaded pencils as you can see that comes out much much darker and we hardly need to press so sometimes using the darker pencils does help um, in my learn to draw set you will get a full set your sketchbook by joining in with us on the sessions or you can just come along and watch either way please do follow like share comment all those things help me to find my tribe and um, I hope to see you in the next video take care everyone bye